Hi traders, welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to talk about one biggest problem where I see most people make that's causing them to lose a lot of money in trading. All right, so let's jump into it. So one of the biggest problems that most of the retail trader make are basically just constantly looking for reversal setups, all right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't trade reversal. I like trading reversal as well. That feeling of catching tops and bottoms, um, maximizing high risk reward setup are just fantastic. But the, the key thing is this, if you are someone who's constantly looking to trade reversals, what does it mean constantly? Maybe two or three times a week, you are just constantly looking to, to take counter trend trade you will find yourself missing out tons of opportunities because a lot of times market structure are simple if it breaks through resistance it's an uptrend if it breaks under support it's a downtrend so if you are a day trader especially short-term trader following the trend direction will be a lot more simpler a lot more beneficial to you all right so look at the chart right now Assuming right now you are looking at this as a potential bullish reversal, we don't care about what was the thesis, what's the reason behind it, because this is just an example. You're looking at the current price and you say, this is a bullish move, this is a bull leg, I'm expecting this to continue pushing towards the upside. Why? Because in this case, you are actually trying to trade reversal, right? Why do I say you are trying to trade reversal is because the larger context the bigger context here especially if you are trading short term is bearish why is it bearish is because we break under support and what do we have low high low low confirmation this is a bearish structure it's that simple right? you should be looking for short but because you are Maybe you have certain patterns, you have certain strategy that tells you that this is a potential bullish reversal trade. That's why you're looking for buys. So right now, price actually formed a, right here, we have a triple bottom. So right after you see that third pin bar or fourth pin bar rejection there, textbook tells you, you should be going long, right? You take a long, this one has nothing wrong. But I will say I don't like to take my entry in the middle of nowhere. Why do I say this is in the middle of nowhere? It's because if we look at the left, do we have any structure? It seems like we are not. Which area is much more significant? Potentially at the low, key swing low. All right. So you take a long. Maybe your target is at the um, the long term high, the intermediate, or the, maybe you can call it intermediate swing high. Then price runs eventually you get stopped out of course i know the i know the outcome of this trade that's why i say this is mainly for educational purpose you take a loss on this one uh, right after you take a loss most of the retail traders we tend to overthink and we tend to um, sort of trying to revenge trading just to prove ourselves right one big thing you need to understand is that in trading you do not need to prove anyone else wrong not yourself not the market same thing you don't have to prove yourself right as well not to yourself not to your friends not to your surroundings not to the market so if you take a loss if you take a loss it's really important for you to just take a step back reassess the entire situation again and see what can you actually do to make sure you don't get in the same setup again with the similar thesis and then you get stopped out on the second time third times fourth time then what's the purpose of you having a stop loss most traders they get stopped out once they go in they go in again pull the trigger pull the trigger pull the trigger eventually they lose four trades in a similar setup why do i call it a similar setup maybe right now you want to buy a bull flag a typical way to buy bull flag is textbook styles they ask you to buy the break which is one of the most dangerous thing you can ever do uh, in my community i've never taught any of my students or any of my friends any of the traders surrounding me to trade the break of a flag because if you're trading a break of the flag you are first thing you're late in the party 
what do I mean by late in the party? Yes, you have a little bit more conf confirmation, but does it confirm that it's going to push all the way? What if this is just rejecting the resistance then reverse all the way down? Why? Right? So you took a buy here, you get stopped out the first time. Negative one. You get stopped out because your stop loss is probably under that swing low. You get stopped out once, then price does this. Immediately you you just have the sense of urgency to get involved and you say, hey, that seems like it's still valid. Why not I take a second trigger? You take the second one, guess what? Chop, 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 stops you out again. Negative one. Then the same thing goes again. This reverse all the way up. Then you start saying, ah, maybe this is the real one. I All of this are just way too early. Let me take one more attempt. Negative one price crush all the way down so in this case you have lost one two three trades negative three r is it really worth it and then uh, right after you finish everything most people will start comforting themselves and saying the market is just not in my favor it's not that the market is not in your favor it's the way you manage your risk if you're having so many losses on a similar setup you are basically ruining the edge of your of your strategy the expectancy of your strategy of your system once you take a loss it's really important for you to have a filtering process to have a, a checklist whatsoever to basically reassure you can you take a re-entry or not if you take a loss do not jump straight into the chart most likely if you jump straight into the chart you are just revenge trading you feel like it's impossible for you to be wrong hence you want to revenge trade the market you want to prove the market that you're right the market is wrong you don't have to prove anyone else so in this case don't do this kind of thing all right the same thing you see right when the price spike down you take a loss maybe right now price is coming back to this key support and then you start looking for another reversal you start seeing a little bit of a rejection here then potentially you see oh, there we have a little bit of rejection let me take a second long what is the common pattern on your setups you are looking for counter trend trade you're looking for counter trend trade then what's happened obviously um, you get stopped out you get stopped out again now you took two losses and price starts diving under that 145.57 support then potentially you see here there's a double bottom you take it again again and again you're just constantly revenge trading and over trading the market you are not having any plan if you're doing this or if you find yourself doing this sometimes it could mean that you don't have a proper strategy or you don't have a proper filtering process or triggering process what triggers you into a trade under what circumstances under what conditions do you consider specific setups valid or invalid so go back to the topic of this video which is avoid constantly looking for counter trend trade if you simply just take a step back let me show you how simple is this if right now you remain neutral bias let's forget about what has happened just now you remain neutral bias here you see price form a double bottom a triple bottom here then you simply identify that this and acknowledge that this is a bearish structure hence you should be looking for sell setup from an intraday basis so right now you're looking for obviously you are looking for a structural shift or a structural break so what you need to confirm is whether if this support at 146.06 is going to be broken once it's broken what's going to happen you're looking to buy the retest you can either buy at a wick here have a wider stops or you can buy over here so sometimes i think you can buy over here let's let's try buying over here and see what's going to happen and maybe you have a stop loss about um, above that uh, minor swing high at 34 pips let's see if you get triggered or not all right so in this case i think you get triggered you get triggered then potentially you have a target all the way towards the downside let's see what happened so right now price again broke under structure so you can now break even your trade and let it run further or you can even more aggressively you can trail your stops above that um, 
short term swing high to make sure you don't give back all of your profit or potentially make it into a loss. So in this case, we have another structural break, break under 145.45, retest, completed and confirmed this is a downtrend. Can you see? What I'm trying to show you here is not. Of course, you can say uh, this is just uh, backtesting. This is just an example. Of course, it's an example. But what I'm really trying to show you here in this video is most of the time, it is us traders itself, we ourselves, we complicate the price action, we complicate the market structure. First thing first, you have to identify, are you a short term trader? Are you a scalper? Are you a swing trader? Are you a position trader? If someone, what is a position trader? Someone who holds their trade up to a month. What is swing trader? Couple of days or a week. A short term trader, maybe one, two, three days maximum. Swing trader, same thing as well. Intraday trader, you don't hold trades overnight. Ask yourself, what kind of traders do you want to become? Because if you want to become a short term trader, or an intraday trader or a scalper, you need to have great flexibility. In this case, okay, potentially you get a loss here. Maybe you take a long over here, you took a loss. You can you can shift your bias. You can remain neutral and say, this is still bearish. That's why I, I don't think I should be going long anymore. I, technically, I should be going short. It's according to my system. It's according to price structure. So if you are a swing trader, it's a lot easier because you have you can have a wider stops in this case maybe you have a 50 pip stops and it's relatively relaxing it takes off the pressure off your shoulder it really depends on what kind of trader do you want to become before you tell me what kind of trader you want to become first thing first ask yourself what's your personality like are you someone who's a little bit more aggressive or are you someone who's way too conservative? For me, if you are someone who's way too aggressive when it comes to um, trade entry, when it comes to scaling in, scaling out, sizing your trade, whatever, you'll have to, you need to have a conservative strategy, as in you need a very, very strict um, risk management process and trade management process to make sure you don't oversize, you don't overtrade, you don't uh, blow up your risk, uh, blow your risk parameter, all right? But however, if you are a conservative trader, then you potentially need to have a slightly more aggressive strategy that allows you to, to get into trade confidently or not, not just every day just sit in front of the chart, not knowing what to do, adopting yourself, should I take this trade or not? Because if you are an extremely conservative trader, high chance you are, you are having either low self-confidence or low self-esteem, um, just an example. If you are a highly aggressive trader or overly aggressive trader, you could be having way too high level of confidence, which causing you to not being afraid of the consequence of blowing up your capital, right? So I hope this video actually helps you and helps you to understand why under cer certain circumstances you should not be looking for counter trend trade, especially in condition where price are technically going into straight line or just chop, 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 chop like this one. Condition like this are the worst to trade reversal because most traders, they see this, identify this as a rising wedge and whatever, uh, all the textbook stuff. You say, oh, that's a rising wedge. You take a short after the break, you get stopped out. Right, I come, right after you come back here, you say, oh, there's a fake out. Then you take another short, you get stopped out. Then right after it comes back, you say, it's a triple top rejection. Then it goes on and on and on. You need to have a process. You need to know what you're looking for. Do not just blindly trade counter trend without any specific strategy. For myself, when it comes to counter trend trade, I'm always being extremely, extremely um, conservative. And I need a lot more confirmation as compared to trend continuation trade. When I'm looking to follow the trend to go short like this, I know as long as my entry is okay, my stop loss is decent, I will survive the trade and I will make money because I'm following the flow. But when you're trading counter trend, you're trading into uncertainty because at that point you cannot 
basically confirm are there buyers or sellers accumulating at that zone or whatever. I hope this video helps you. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Trade safe, take care, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.